There are new developments tonight in the murder for hire case that took a shocking turn. One day after one of the co-defendants, a well-known Montrose veterinarian, took her own life, we are getting some new details. We have learned that Dr. Valerie McDaniel left a suicide note, which included several sealed letters for family members. Her co-defendant, Leon Jacob, has requested to be released for McDaniel's funeral. Well, a judge denied that request. Jacob is going to be back in court tomorrow for a hearing. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard live tonight with a look ahead to that hearing and what's next in this case. Ryan. It goes on and on. In fact, Jacob will be back here in court tomorrow. That is a bond hearing he wants to get out of jail. The last time Leon Jacob stood before a judge, he stood beside his girlfriend, who was also charged in the murder for hire plot. On Wednesday morning, Jacob will stand alone. Veterinarian Dr. Valerie McDaniel is gone. This photo was snapped earlier of her sitting on the balcony of her high rise home in River Oaks. On Monday, police says she jumped from that high rise to her death. Jacob's attorney told his client, who now sits in jail. Just uh, use your imagination when I say devastation and you won't be off. Houston police said before McDaniel took her own life, she wrote a detailed note outlining her final wishes. Police said she also wrote and left behind sealed letters to various family members. The prosecutor said the charge against her would be dropped after they get a copy of the death certificate. She was scheduled to appear today in court. Tragic and sad. We don't like the things like this to happen. We weren't you know, we don't. It's a very tragic thing for the family, especially for her daughter. Um, it was shocking to us. We had no idea that this was going to happen. In an informal hearing, the judge denied Jacob's request to attend McDaniel's funeral. Tomorrow morning, he will again go before a judge, this time asking a judge to release him on bond. And again, a little bit more on that bond here. We know prosecutors plan to call witnesses tomorrow. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.